Hey guys, this is a short video for today. Um, I've just installed Linux Mint on my Microsoft Surface Go, don't mind the dirt. I bought this cheap off eBay, so it's smashed up. The, the touchscreen still works, just about. But I've, I have got a pen, it's a Geo pen, so I've got a Geopad too, which we'll talk about in another video. Um, but here's my experience on Linux Mint. Before I carry on the video, I just want to mention that I've been slowly migrating my devices to Linux, apart from my main PC, because I'm just wanting to change to be fair, and I'm not liking Microsoft practices with some AI features. It's just a bit of a bore, like, so I'm working on managing. Anyway, the first feature is the pen works. All I did is turn off secure boot in the settings, and I got it to work. Um, and as you can see, like hover, I'm not touching the screen. That's clicking. So I can like open all my apps, the performance is actually pretty good. Battery life. See, I can get it to work, I'm not sure what's going on there to be honest with you. But, but it's not that great on a, okay, it's just messing about now. It's not that great on a tablet to be honest because it, it's not optimised enough. I mean, it's just doing this now. But you see, I'm trying to scroll and it's selecting as if I'm clicking and dragging. What you have to do is go to the side, so it's easy with a pen, and find the scroll and drag it up and down. But the, the touchscreen does work, unlike the Geopad 220. I spent ages trying to do that. I can't seem to get it to right click. Even holding it don't do anything. So that is a that is a downside to this. So you have to go into settings every time you want to do something, like open the keyboard. You have to go to accessibility keyboard and enable the on-screen keyboard. And you can't even change the layout because this is the Quartz layout, which is super annoying because I'm really typing and Y is down there and not up there. That's just super super annoying. But you have got customizability, like they are getting there. You can choose what layout you want. Like, oh, okay. So, oh, look, there you go, quite it. I don't know what I did different there. But you can see that it, it, it you can use it. It's just like you, you tap the, and nothing does anything. YouTube works fine. Um, obviously, again, you've got the ball like feature of the on screen keyboard, which I find just turning it on and off like that, and then typing whatever you want does do the trick. But it's the it's the annoyance that really changes things. Like, I didn't even do the space there, it didn't register, even though I might, probably missed it. But the scrolling thing is just super, super annoying to me. Okay, that's me. Okay, oh, 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 God. Um, anyway. Yeah, I'm trying some... I'm trying opening a, like an office application. Just prove that you can use this because the points are pretty good. Now, I'm going to open this in real time here. Just open the press. There you go. See, it's, it's pretty fast. If you have the keyboard attachment, which I don't, I've got this for 10 off eBay, um, you can probably use this as a good little laptop tablet hybrid if you're into that sort of thing. But you see, it works, but you probably need a keyboard for backup. I mean, the DPI is a bit high, and I can't change it without going into settings. I find that Linux doesn't cope with um, high DPI very well. Uh, cause I'm implementing Linux in a, a business too and it's just a bit funny with the resolution and stuff but it is getting there and I do like the experience on the um, on the actual software itself I mean it is a bit complicated but if you get used to it you get used to it yeah 100% Just try, try 100% so it gets all small and awful See, this is ridiculous. You can't use this with your finger. But, at least you go into YouTube or just the internet in general. Fair enough, you can see a lot. 
but it's so small it's not meant for a tablet so I, I recommend if you have if you've got a tablet you want to install Linux Mint on it I haven't tested any other ones but don't do it on a tablet Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition thanks for watching see you later